And we are back with PTL as we also welcome our pets of the week. And they are big ones. They are. This week. <laughs> brought to us by the Great Pyrenees Club of Western Pennsylvania. Club members Lori Stadelman and Sandy Johnson brought the uh, recent rescues with them this morning. They are named Clifford and Ranger. They are yes. cutie pies and we want to try to find these two a home. And they don't seem at all impressed with the TV cameras. I was going to say, <laughs> they're, like, they're just treats. like, give us the treats and we'll do whatever Set. you want. Set. Good boy. So introduce oh, So this, yes. this is Clifford, right? Yes. yes. And, and how old is Clifford? Clifford's <clears throat> four months. Okay. And how old is Ranger? Ranger's two. Oh, wow. And so is he fully grown? Will he get any bigger? He won't get any taller. He might put on a few pounds. Okay. Um, but he, should, he shouldn't get much bigger. Well, share with us, us their story. So where did they come from? And, uh, and what kind of homes should they be placed in? Um, Ranger came from a home that did not have a fenced-in yard. Okay. So Great Pyrenees definitely need a fenced-in yard. They're guard dogs. If they see something that they feel is a danger to you, they're going to go try and get that item. Right. Could be a leaf. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's important. Yes. Yeah. Clifford was, as amazing as it seems, was found as a stray. Um, oh, wow. wow. So he was brought in to rescue and... So he was just wandering the streets yes, or something? Yes. And oh that was a month, so he was about three, three, four months old um, when, when he was found. And how old is he now? He's about four or five Come months on. old. Come on. And oh. he will get as big as Ranger? He, sh it, well, it varies. Okay. Um, cool, but cool. the males typically get 100 to 120 pounds, the females like 90 to 100. Okay. Ranger looks a little larger than that. I'm not sure if it's just all the first. He's tall. <laughs> He's tall. He's very okay. tall. <laughs> Beautiful, though. What about um, homes with kids? Because I know a lot of families, you know, Great Pyrenees, are they good for homes with Great kids? Great Pyrenees are wonderful with kids. Absolutely wonderful with kids. Um, they're gentle. They're calm. They're not, you know, excit easily excitable. Okay. Um, when they're couch potatoes when they get to be about three or four years old. I see. You know, so they so. And I love their bows. <laughs> Clearly, when you adopt them, they come with the bows. Do we, yes. they wear the bows every day? <laughs> yes. They don't wear them every day, do they? No. <laughs> now, you guys have an event coming up that we want to mention that supports the, your rescue, right? We have, um, in April, uh, it's Coach Purse Month. Okay. So we are selling tickets um, that you could win a Coach Purse every day of of every day of the month of April. Oh, wow. So um, 30 days, 30 purses. Yes, yes. Um, you can request one of our purses on our Facebook page. Um, and if you mail in a check, um, they will send you one of those. They're great stocking stuffers for oh, women. Wonderful. Now, I want to make sure that we work to get these dogs forever homes. Tell me about the maintenance and the upkeep for Great Pyrenees. Um, they do need brushing. Yes. Um, maybe once a week. Um, they need groomed occasionally, maybe twice a year, um, and, you know, just normal walks, fenced in yard, absolutely, um, for their exercise. Well, they are beautiful, and I'm hoping that when <laughs> some of our viewers see these dogs, they will call in because what? cutie pies here. Now to find out more about today's pets, you can contact the Great Pyrenees Club of Western Pennsylvania Rescue and look for that contact info at kdka.com. And, and we want to thank you both for being with us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having us so very much. And make sure you keep watching for more stories on fostering or adopting pets. That's every Monday here on PTL as part of our featured Pet of the Week segments.